Sports Everybody Podcast, man, episode 114. We got a, a return guest, man. He was on episode 60, man, back on March uh, 2nd. So it's been about a year and shit. Nigga rapper. Uh, nigga be getting money and shit. <laughs> <laughs> nigga out here eating food on chicks and shit, though. <laughs> 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 we got my dog, man, Polo Frost, man. Well, no, no, man. I appreciate y'all having me back. I had to come back too, man. For sure, man. I'm looking like damn, they got the little loud chick right there eating sushi off the little chick and shit. Like, yeah, that, that was like, wild that's too. A, that's a little money party right there, though. <laughs> yeah, they were kind of trying to slander on the gram a little bit, though. Like, why she got on Ethicus? Like, damn, man. But niggas, man, niggas always gotta find something to talk yeah. about, dog. Y'all and don't we, see no damn sushi bar, or the sushi on the on the on the girl. She got no. She got her titties out and all that. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dog. For you know sure, man. Well, shit, what's been good with you, bro? Man, working, man, per usual. Yeah. Working. Just, you know. Yeah, for sure. Trying to make the dream come true. Oh, yeah, man. You already know, before we get to everything, dog, we start everything with a salute, bro. Salute somebody that's not in your media circle. You know what I'm saying? That you want to show some love to, you know? You got somebody. I'm saluting y'all. This episode 114. Yeah, for sure. Hey, man, salute to y'all, man. It's a blessing. Y'all mm-hmm. doing y'all motherfucking thing. Like you said, this is my second time here. Mm-hmm. Y'all consistent. Y'all always dropping. I see everything. I respect mm-hmm. y'all. I want to be a guest co host one day, but we ain't going to get into all of that. <laughs> but <laughs> one day I need to be a guest co host sure. and, and, and not just a guest. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Matter fact, but salute to y'all. I'm saluting y'all today, man. For sure, man. I appreciate that. Matter of fact, dog, next time I get somebody in particular, I'm going to uh, shoot you the personal information. So you can go ahead and get your questions down. Yeah, this is this shit, is this, this 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 ain't that long of a ride up the street. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Bad, bad, bad. We, we do that shit, dog. Polo, uh, polo, co-host Polo, dog. Yeah. But shit, man. Speaking of, dog, you said some shit, bro. You said working and shit. You said some shit that was true as fuck. The a couple weeks ago on the on the gram on your story, you would say if, if a nigga ain't prepared to spend a hundred dollars when you walk out the door, nigga, stay your ass in the house, dog. Facts. <laughs> it's a hundred dollars to walk out the house. <laughs> Don't let you need gas. Two hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, me and my wife, I thought about this shit because every time me and my wife go out the door, bro, we spend about a good hundred dog every fucking time. Easy. Even when you don't even you mean don't to even do notice it. it, Nigga. Before when you get back home and count your money, you be like, dog, I spent three hundred dollars and I. I'm, I still stink. <laughs> I got no new clothes. <laughs> dog. For real, you go to Walmart and Target, then we go to that bitch to get some diapers, nigga. Wind up. Nigga going crazy. That's why I gotta go store with oh, that. I got a little baby. Yeah. Oh yeah, y'all spending some real yeah, cheese. Baby one, dog. Just a little bit over one. Yeah, so y'all nigga. buying buffs. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Spit yeah. it on the baby. And the day, dog, cause we yeah. man, when you go out the door, bro, I got a fifteen year old, a five year old, and a one year old. Wow. So a fifteen year old getting he wanna make sure he fresh in school. Oh yeah. Dreads nigga uh, crispy, lined up, clothes gotta be on point now. Yeah. Five year old, he don't really give a fuck. Yet. Yeah, yeah, not yet. <laughs> Only thing he want, he want motherfucking Kyrie's and uh, LeBron's. Okay. But the, I can still buy them bitch for seventy dollars for that nigga. Yeah. Dog. About three more years, it's gonna change. <laughs> Hell yeah. You know. And then the baby, you already know a girl, dog. Yeah. That shit crazy. You buying diapers, yeah. formula, and all that. Yeah. And then nah. when she get older, she gonna want to have her little girl shit, dog. So yeah, it, it, fuck my life, man. <laughs> so you got your two oldest is boys, and then your baby is a girl. Yep. Oh man, at yeah, least you got some older brothers. For to look sure. Out, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Ever happened to me? Shit. She yeah, she got brothers. Hands. Yeah. For sure. That's what's up. Hell yeah, dog. Damn, I forgot to turn my shit. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> now, dog, uh, it's 2022, bro. Duke I, lost, by the way. Yeah, hell yeah, dog. I was kind of salty about that a little bit. <laughs> me too. I'm not a Duke I'm not, fan. I'm not a North Carolina person at all, though. I love Michael Jordan, but yeah. I ain't never really been no UNC person. Yeah, yeah. I was just rooting for my for my nigga Coach K. Like, fuck, go yeah, out and get yeah, ready, Go out with a bang. Well, yeah, you went yeah. out with a bang. You lost to the same team again. <laughs> yeah. The same nigga that been kicky ass. Dog, shout out to motherfucker Coach K, bro. Yeah, man. That nigga been doing that shit, dog. He was coaching that dude for 47 years. Before any of us was born. Nigga, 47 fucking years, Ain't nobody bro. in here 47. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> and that nigga been... Nigga been winning consistently too for forty seven years, like having a good program, bro. Like, no, that's facts. hard. Think about the stars he had, mm-hmm. the players that they came through there, the NBA. They did because he was coaching with the Olympics and shit. Yep. So all that good yep. shit, dog. So yeah, yeah shout out to Coach that nigga, K. Dog. The gym oh, named after them. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? They got oh, his name on the man. court for sure. Now, uh, shit, twenty twenty two, man. How's it been for you, bro? Like some personal shit. Like you been ascending. You things been going good. Like, um. Well, since the last time I was here. Yeah. Um. I have been busy as fuck, man. 2021 was real busy. Booked every weekend. For sure. Shows, events, hosting, performances. And so when the, the when the new year hit, yeah. I had a break. For sure. 
Probably took too long of a break. Mm -hmm. I'm like, that's why I just put out this little tape. I just this little EP I just put out. I'm like, all yeah. right, cool. Let's get back. Let's get some bookings. Da da da. da. Sure. Um, so I kind of just been chilling this year, just kind of like get my mind back right, get mm -hmm. myself back in the swing, and you know, um, cause last year was real busy for me. Yeah, no, you was you was you was moving around, bro. Yeah. Like for real, for real. when you be doing these little hosting gigs, like. <clears throat> Is it just you coming in that bitch and just showing your face and just being presentable, or you just sometimes like, it depends how I feel. Sometimes I might grab a microphone. Sometimes I just just me being there be mm -hmm. enough, whatever. They just all they give a fuck about is you bringing people out for sure, Hell bringing yeah. people through that door. That's all they give a Spend fuck a about. So. On... But no, like a lot of times I, I you know, I don't really host and had a mic and you know be talking. Sometimes I just go in there and drink and sit in my booth and hell yeah, get paid, get drunk, and shit. Yeah, and do, yeah, and chill. You Hell know yeah. what I'm saying? Now you say you say nigga, you don't go out, nigga. It gotta be a bag for you to come out and make an appearance, bro. Well, let's take this one shit for free. Uh, all right, don't don't <laughs> let me get the capping though. But uh, it depend. I, it depend on what it is. Yeah, I do some free shit, but yeah. it's some type of purse for me. Yeah, for sure. Like, you gonna spend some type of money to give me to come out? Rather you give me put it in my pocket, yeah. or you make sure I have a great ass night. For sure, you hell know yeah. what I'm saying. <laughs> so, yeah. but no, nah, uh, for real, for real, like. I, honestly, the last time I really just came out and performed or did some hosting shit for free. Yeah. So you can't remember. I can't. Duh. <laughs> I got to give this nigga payroll, dog. This nigga team, dog. It got to be a bag involved because I know you getting a bag. You're yeah. not about to just use my brand. Uh, for sure, just to make sure you eating it. Yeah, like but like, I got a little like certain shit. I do some charity shit. Yeah. Like, if it's some shit for the kids or something, like. Yeah, yeah. Because I see you doing that. You was doing the what's name. Uh, I be paying attention to all types of shit. Y'all was doing the flat football shit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! yeah I did that shit amazing. with uh, shout out to Choo Choo Entertainment. Yeah, they had uh, they had had that uh, that charity football game, giving backpacks to the kids and shit sure. like that, and school supplies. Yeah. I was out there mossing niggas. <laughs> was you a shout football nigga back in high school? You know what? I played football, but I was always more of a hooper. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I remember you saying that. Yeah. If you was at that flag football game, you wouldn't have thought so. <laughs> you would bro. Oh, this nigga was the that nigga. <laughs> shout out to Choo Choo, man. Uh, Shot Killer, Crispy Life, all them niggas over there, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah, cause that nigga. I'll be seeing that Actually, nigga. my girl a part of Choo Choo too. She an A&R for them, so. Yeah, that's yeah. what I say, though. Polo in love, man. Like, last yeah, time got... he was on his motherfucker, he was, you know, single and shit, mingling yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah, Then, I... that's the, I know I'm going to Graham. They looking like motherfucking, uh, fab and, uh. <laughs> <laughs> got the little meats on and shit, dog. Yeah, yeah, nigga that's... made my bad time day get a little crazy. Like, damn. <laughs> you going to take crazy. my shit in, dog. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. So, yeah. shit, what, what, shit, what, what made you, I don't, you know, I ain't, I ain't no podcast about love and shit, but what made you be like, all right, nigga, I'm going to. I'm, I'm, you know, well, you know what? I was on her head for a long time, and she wasn't <laughs> fucking with me. Yeah. And then she one day she was like, she she was like, we can hang out. And from there, we just never stopped hanging out. <laughs> yeah. And like she, like she a hustler too. Yeah. Like oh she yeah. Her, she definitely her, her, her shit. shit. She a real good woman, man. She a good woman. I'm blessed. You now, know, to have she, her in my corner. So she an A&R. Do she critique some of your music? Oh, for sure. Do she I get run mad? a lot of shit through it because she gonna keep it real. Do she get mad at some of the shit you be talking about? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't say mad. She just be like, "When well, you gonna rap about something else?" I'm like, "I mean, I kind of come from a certain background. Mm -hmm. I gotta talk about what I know about." For sure, hell yeah. And if I know about you know the strip clubs and yeah. women and shit, that's why I'm a rapper. But, but no, she like, she like, you know, yeah. she do be saying that sometimes. But she cool. She be alright. Yeah, I know how it is, bro. I wife be like, "Why you had to say that? Like it's entertainment, goddamn it!" Yeah. Wink, wink. <laughs> Sex sales. Hell, no, for sure. Hell, yeah. Hell, now, uh, you saying how busy you was last year in 2021, bro? And you say you say you took a little time, you know, saying to chill 2022 at the beginning. What was some shit you felt like you need to leave behind, bro? That you didn't want to fuck with? That was kind of like maybe holding you back from, you know, last year and shit. Um, if it was anything, man. Hmm, that's a good question. Man, you know, man. I try, Something man. I need to leave behind. Yeah, so, uh, you know, cause it, we going to New Year, nigga. Gonna eat good, eat grass. And I would shit, say, nigga. I would so say, probably, eat. I would say, probably my pride and ego, yeah. because that can get the best of you sometimes. Mm -hmm. And you got to remember how fast a blessing can be taken away. For sure, hell yeah. And so when I came into this year, I was like, all right, I had a great year last year. <laughs> probably the best year I've had as far as getting mu money off music. Yeah, for sure. Last year was a great year for me. And I was just like, you know, stay humble, keep working. Yeah. I had to tell myself that, like, don't let none of that success from like, that shit over with. Hell yeah. You did that. You did the Restart. big show this year and all type of shit. Like, yeah. I came into this year, I was just like, you know what? Stay humble and keep working. Yeah, hell yeah, though. You got to, dog. Because niggas going to the New Year saying some shit, but they don't, 
that shit changed. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? They go eat better. Nigga, work out. Nigga, working out is hard, though. Nigga, that shit. <laughs> nigga, what? I wasn't this big. Like, hey, y'all go back to episode 60. Y'all gonna be like, damn, that boy put on a few. Hey, I saw y'all niggas. You was getting your workout on, dog, for a minute, dog. What Man, happened? Man, you know what it is? So, I'm gonna tell you what really happened. Yeah. My cousin owned a gym. Okay. That's my cousin, Jim. Yeah. He owned it, and uh, somebody had got COVID there. Mm hmm. So he had to shut the gym down for like a week to clean it, make mm -hmm. sure he was good. He had to get tested and all that. Right. He cleaned it, sanitized everything. Yeah. That week. Yeah, you went crazy. That week, <laughs> that week off fucked me up. Duh. I ain't go back after that. Man. He be, in, he be hitting me up. I be like. <laughs> Nigga be like, dog, uh, I'll call you back. They roll number. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. I, but I, I do need to get back to it. I done put on a little bit of weight. Yeah, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's happy weight, dog. You got, yeah, I'm you know in a relationship and shit, you know. <laughs> My girl gonna love me regardless. Fuck y'all hoes. If I get fat, I get fat, fat. But, <laughs> dog, that's how I be, dog. You get to a relationship with niggas, you can tell when you're in a successful one, too. Yeah. Cause when you My girl be acting me on, like, you need to go to the gym. I'll be like, you better not cheat. <laughs> Fuck. Cause hey, when you in the fuck <laughs> uh, relationship, nigga, you ain't eating. Your girl ain't cooking, nigga. Motherfucker look like an Ethiopian and shit. Oh uh, no, like, we ain't good. Hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. Now, uh, one thing I was, you say like leaving shit behind, stuff like that, bro. And I remember last time you was talking about how cool you and uh and Bean had got. Yeah, yeah. And like I said, that's somebody you and grow with. So what do it take like to get a nigga in your circle, bro, for you to trust like that? It's it's good people. It's like you know what I'm saying? Cause a lot of niggas always be like, I ain't, I ain't fuck with the niggas I grew up with. You know what? That's that's ass backwards yeah. because I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes some of you, you end up some of your closest friends be people you met later in life, mm -hmm. and sometimes the niggas you grew up with become envious and all type of weird shit Hell or they yeah. do weird shit like. So, I've never been one of them type of niggas. Like I'm to be honest with you. I don't have many friends today that I actually like grew up with. For sure, Hell just yeah. cause niggas change. Like, if I come around you and you look at me different yeah. than what you always have, yeah. red flag. For sure, hell yeah. Cause hell now yeah. I don't trust you. Or because niggas, I'm really still the same nigga that I always yeah. been. Or niggas like, cause sometimes your, your grind separate y'all friendship because you Facts. could be doing stuff trying to make money and they could just be still doing the same shit chilling. Facts. You know One of saying? my best friends, he like a good dude, like. He work and go to church, and he yeah. actually like a, a minister, like an ordained minister and shit. He be For preaching sure. sometimes. Yeah. One of my closest friends, but ain't like he be coming to strip clubs with me. And doing <laughs> all that. But that's, yeah. For sure. that's my daughter, God, dad, though. Yeah. That's, my, that's my best friend. Like, For he sure. can call me for whatever. Like, mm -hmm. and I don't expect him to be there for because we live two different lives. For sure, yeah. You already know what he about. He know what you about. Yeah. But, but we ain't like our different, exactly. Man. We ain't let our different lifestyles change our friendship. Yeah, for sure. That's like uh, my fucking uh, producer Q, though. His homeboy ain't, he don't do the shit that they do, but that's still his day one nigga. And that's how it should be. Yeah, dog. That's genuine love. Yeah, because you know, like, nigga, hey, I'm a wild boy. You just, you, you, if you into your shit, it's cool. I'm not even gonna fuck your life up by even introducing you to my shit. Yeah. Because <laughs> you can fuck somebody's life up, nigga, like, for real. Facts. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> now, that's something I didn't ask you, bro. That I've been asking niggas, when you was on the show last time, I started asking niggas, uh, what's something, bro, as a young that you wanted to be that you never told nobody you was too, you was too embarrassed to even share it? Like, with me, I wanted to be a tap dancer. Really? Yeah, I went to karate and shit, dog. I was crazy is when I was like five or six, yeah. my mom had put me in gymnastics. Okay. And my dad was pissed. <laughs> like, they had a big-ass fight. I remember that to this day. My They was pissed. Like, you got my son out in a fucking leotard? Duh. <laughs> I remember that shit like it was yesterday, but um, I didn't want to do that shit. My mom just... How long did you do no it, choice. though? Uh, <laughs> five seconds, nigga. Uh, probably like... I don't know, some months for sure. Yeah, like, see a nigga polo on the balance beam and shit. <laughs> yeah, coming out dude, doing cartwheels and shit. <laughs> My dad was pissed. Duh. I'll never forget that. I was I was so young though. But you um, did you understand why you're pissed though? You was too young, like damn. Yeah, what? I mean I understand now. Yeah. <laughs> My son ain't finna do no fucking gymnastics. For sure, for but sure. But then I be thinking about people like Barry Sanders. They like Barry Sanders did ballet. Yeah, yeah. That's how and you nip on a, your feet. I always wanted to be an athlete. I was a basketball player. Yeah, for um, sure. So I didn't really have no uh, no, no shit embarrassing profession. Yeah. I always saw myself going to the NBA. Yeah, hell yeah. No, do you you still get your hoop on sometimes, or you just not enough? Yeah, but yeah. I will. My boy hit me up yesterday, talking about let's hoop. I'm like, man, man, I gotta get back into it, though. It's hard. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I go up to LA Fitness sometimes and get niggas a few buckets. See, but them niggas at LA Fitness be trying to play for a championship and shit like that. Yeah, oh, uh, they be playing hard. <laughs> you can tell them the niggas that like just didn't make it. Yeah, like, yeah. You was that close Bro, to going D one. And I'm in that mug, but not quite. Yeah, I be so now you want to take your anger out on the exactly. niggas in here that's just coming to shoot around a little Bro, bit. I be coaching this shit. So now I'm looking at niggas like why they ain't cutting. Like I'm like, damn, we in the wreck. Like. And then when you go to LA Fitness, you go at 5, 6 o'clock in the evening, there's a hundred niggas in that bitch. hundred niggas. So, nigga, Don't get put off the court. You're going to be waiting. Unless you that nigga, mm -hmm. you're going to be waiting a while. For but sure. most niggas be having their squads already. Nigga, hell yeah. So I go in that bitch at 10 in the morning. Like, fuck, I get this early nigga yeah. super grown man run. Nigga. Yeah. <laughs> niggas be in that bitch 50, nigga. Still give me buckets. Like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't doing nothing but pulling jump shots. Hell yeah, posting you. Old school post moves and <laughs> shit. Bill Cartwright style, nigga. Like that. <laughs> this is a bullshit, dog. Ain't nothing like getting killed by an old nigga. This old nigga destroyed me one time, nigga, in Texas, dog. This Wait a minute, I got a question. What up? Am I the first person to come on here twice? No. Damn. No, no. Actually, we can talk about this. I, I, I need your opinion on this shit, dog. Detroit Diamond was on this motherfucker. You, you, you know her? I don't think so. I met a girl named Diamond last night, though. She stripped? No. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 no, she on strip, bro. She uh, she a rapper. So anyway, she got this song she put out. She came on the show to talk about it uh, called Exposed. So she mad because she feel like she ain't getting the back. She ain't getting backed up by these big wigs. She said she reached out to a hell of a. Um, he never really said shit. He, I guess he told her to reach her his manager, and they never hit her up and shit. Okay. And then Photo Doug had said that he was gonna charge her sixty k for a feature. And then uh, motherfucker T didn't get back with her, um, DJ BJ, like nigga. So what's she mad about? <laughs> like that's the game. Yeah. So so she mad because niggas ain't showing love to her. And, and they're not. Love to and they never niggas. will. Yeah. You gotta kick the door in. Yeah, yeah. You gotta make them wanna fuck with you. Mm -hmm. And that's how that shit work. That just like my last album, I had. All Star Jr. Sada Baby. Yep, 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 yep. I had all type of features. Yeah. Them niggas ain't give me them features. Yeah, for sure. I pay for the niggas. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I got a, de I got a, I got a decent sized name out here. For sure. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, Hell yeah. You got work so though. Nobody ain't gonna give you shit. Yeah. Like, but she was saying like how uh, Foto Doug charging an independent artist from the city that he from 60k is crazy. Why like, is it crazy? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> because at the end of the day, I understand what she's saying, mm -hmm. but at the same time. What are you gonna do for Forty Two Doug? Yeah, for sure. Fact. And niggas like niggas got their immediate circle. Mm -hmm. It's just like this, right? I reach out to you to come do the podcast again. For sure. If you would have reached out to me, I don't give a fuck if I'm on a Forty Two Doug level, a little baby level. If y'all niggas call me and be like, "Polo, bro, can we get with you back on the show?" Yeah. I'm coming. Yeah, for sure. Cause yeah, I fuck with y'all. Yeah, yeah. It's a relationship. Yeah. You don't have a relationship with that man. Yeah, and for that's sure. why he told you sixty k. Yeah, yeah, fast, fast. And and, and that's his price. And that's his price. I yeah. mean, I feel, uh, that's a large price for what you do. But yeah. that's what his price is. For sure, for sure. Now, then on the song, she was like, uh, basically hell of a, like, she was saying like, uh, I guess my ass wasn't fat enough for you to get back with me. Because she was trying to say that he... Go get your ass done. <laughs> Man, I'm going to be hell of a cool ass nigga. Like, he humble as yeah, fuck. For sure, for sure. Like, I fuck with Helly the long way. Yeah, like, yeah. I might text Hell of a right now. He might not get back to me for two weeks. Yeah, man. I'm, but not, you, I'm, not, yeah, I'm not getting mad. Yeah, yeah. Well, that nigga might check me back in two weeks. Like, I'm just seeing this, bro. Yeah, but yeah, for sure. He get back hell of a cool ass nigga. He, he's hell of a. Yeah, tell that come on show, man. <laughs> <laughs> I can hit him. I, I'm actually working on some shit with yeah. him right now. No, so. but like, with her, I understand. I understand, bro. Even with this podcast, I understand. Sometimes you frustrate when you feel like you should be at a certain level. You, you probably get that too oh 100 but at the end of the day dog sometimes it might miss you sometimes it might hit you sometimes you know what i'm saying it just take time and sometimes it just don't happen you gotta figure out another avenue you know what i'm saying yeah i mean shawty just gotta she gotta understand like people ain't gonna fuck with you till they feel like it's gonna benefit them in some type of way for sure hell yeah nobody just fucking with people just fuck oh them. i think you can rap mm -hmm. oh 
you a beautiful woman or whatever. You got yeah. this, this, and that. But if you not on a certain level where they're benefiting off yeah. fucking with you, yeah. they're gonna charge you. They're, yeah. they're not gonna, you know. You so she just gotta put some more work in and not not let that shit get to her. Yeah, yeah. For you know sure. what I'm saying? Because that shit will really discourage you feeling like. People supposed to treat you a certain way or fuck with you a certain now, way. Now, by her job, because it's already there and exposed too much. She named a few names, but do you think somebody like that can get you black ball with them niggas like, we ain't gonna never work with you because we see that if we don't do something, you might fuck around and try to diss us? Uh. Because not, yeah, no. not hell of them might yeah, not. Yeah, this shit about relationships. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. So, you don't, I would never go on no podcast trying to slander no nigga because they gonna, yeah. that shit gonna come back. Man. Yeah, even if you feel that way. Like, niggas is tapped in and niggas do that. Like, mm hmm. For instance, I know an artist that I'm cool with mm -hmm. that used to deal with somebody pretty big in Detroit. Yeah. And they fell out. Mm -hmm. And he blackballed the fuck out of dog. Yeah. Damn. And like I said, he got that power because niggas know who he is. So, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so, dog. you don't never want to fuck up them. My father, I ate some Cajun pasta and shit. <laughs> or barber. That was my breakfast this morning. <laughs> Going on with my Casamigos. <laughs> Hey, this nigga Casamigos. Every time I, I, I see Casamigos, I think about this nigga, dog. From that I first love time that shit, man. Dog. That shit is crazy. Yeah. Like, like, you got real loves out here? Yeah. Casamigos is a For real sure. love. Hey, dog, before before we get to the music, though, I want to ask you one, one thing. We were talking about this shit, uh, the Chris Rock and shit, dog, and, <laughs> and Will Smith. I know it's old. It's been a week long and shit. But, nigga, A, do you feel like that nigga was wrong for smacking him? And, B, what can somebody do or say to you that you going to just beat his ass off site? So, uh, number one, yeah. I don't think he wrong. Yeah. I thought he was wrong because you still got to know, bro, you Will Smith, that's mm -hmm. Chris Rock, you mm -hmm. at the Oscars, mm -hmm. we're going to slap him, slap him backstage. Yeah, for sure, because it's still going to get hurt. Niggas, but he, I feel like if he would have just been like, keep my wife's name out your mouth and not slapped him, that would have been enough. Yeah, for sure. Yep. Hell yeah. But. You know, he reacted how he reacted, mm -hmm. and I'm not mad at him. A nigga disrespect mine, I'm a, yeah. you know, but it's, it, it's a time and place. You got to catch him backstage, because you would have caught him backstage. Oh, for sure, or when Oscar party. Or he would have came shit. up to you at, at one of the after parties yeah. or whatever. Hey, man. Yeah. <laughs> nah, nigga, that shit wasn't cool. For sure. Now Hell you gonna yeah. get slapped at this party. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um, and what was the second question? Oh, what can somebody, what can somebody do or say to you, that, like, when you see him as on site, no matter where y'all at, at church? Honestly, bro, <laughs> Whatever, nigga. I'm such a like, I don't be giving a fuck. Yeah, that you just. So, you just like, I don't it. really be caring, but, you know, no, this you little shit, like, you ain't finna just call me no bitch or. Oh, yeah, for sure. Be just like. Or saying you shit. Know, I know, I know, I know shit like that. Like, it ain't really like, because me, like, niggas hate on me. Mm hmm. I see it, and then I see him in person, they be sucking my dick. Yeah. For you know sure. what I'm saying? Pause. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but, you know, I just. I don't really let shit get to me. Like I've been doing this shit so long, man. And yeah. I just been at like a high, like a, a certain level for so long. Mm -hmm. I deal with that shit. For Motherfuckers sure. talking crazy and yeah. whatever. As long as you ain't, I don't know, man. Yeah. I don't know. I really can't tell you what would get me to that point. I, I know one thing, but that's the obvious. And niggas shouldn't do that shit. But you gotta keep kids out your mouth. Like, kids, don't, don't fuck kids my for kids. sure. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know you got, you know, saying a young daughter and stuff yeah. like that. So yeah, that's, that's the obvious. Oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> that's, that's a clear. Cut. Yeah, for sure. That might not even be no slap. That might be <laughs> get shot, nigga. <laughs> yeah. Talk about my fucking kid, nigga. Mm -hmm. You can't, you can't do that shit. That's off, that's off limits for sure, for sure. Dog. Yeah, you can't we don't do play that about shit. them babies. Yeah. Now, last time, dog, you was on the show, bro. Well, first off, my introduction to you was when you did the versus battle with Lex. Rest in peace to Lex. Rest man. in peace, Lex, man. Rest in peace. That, that shit was, my, was wild. That was my dog. dog. Yeah, yeah, man. That shit. I mean, that's life though. Like bro, shit just hit you unexpectedly. And, that, and that's when you gotta realize, bro, life is short. You don't know when that shit is over, bro. So you gotta just live that shit, dog. Like yep, you always. can't be like, what else? Like, damn, I need to do this. Like, just do it, nigga. Fuck it. Facts. Just do that shit. But last time you was on the show, dog, you was going crazy with the uh was the song Best Ever Best Ever. Uh-huh. It had resurfaced and it started going crazy on TikTok, dog. Did that song change the bad for you, dog? Like once once that shit came yeah, back around, blew yeah, up. Yeah, it was like Shit, man, I got me a lot of bookings last year. Like For I sure. said before, I, I did a lot of shows based on that bubbling up again. Mm -hmm. and got to get some more of my other music out there. Hell yeah. And, uh, yeah, man. And we still reaping them benefits from that. You oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Now, are you tired? Now, at what point did you get tired of talking about the song? Because I know, nigga, you got tired of that shit. Like, bro. I was tired of it before we recycled. <laughs> 
Because I hate asking the questions about it, but of course it was, it was you know what I'm saying? Yeah, at the I mean, time, that's it. it. That's but, just like, if I go do a show tomorrow, I have to perform that yeah, song. You, you, so you, and you say you ain't even like I could be song. on. The, I could be right here on the east side in the hood yeah. with a bunch of hood niggas <laughs> in the building, and I got to be in there like, Michael Jackson, I'm going to be... <laughs> That's my, game, the That's my biggest song. That's my biggest song at the end of the day, so. Because yeah. I know, like, niggas get, to, you know, you come on shows and you see the questions by y'all. Like, I know you're going to ask this question. Like, yeah. So you'd be prepared, like, oh. Yeah, I mean, shit, shit, it's whatever. Yeah. I don't really, really look at it like that. I mean, it's part of my story. It's part yeah. of my story. It changed my life. That's how it changed my life. For sure. As goofy and silly as it is, yeah. like, <laughs> I probably listen to that song once. Every time I perform it. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> but, and those be the songs that niggas blow up off of that they really don't really care for. Yeah, But those exactly. be the songs you made for the masses, the kids, you know what I'm saying, family. That's just like, uh, uh, what's the name for Flint? Uh, Louis Ray. Yeah. He got this song going viral on TikTok right now. He probably just made that shit and put it out. He didn't think he was finna do that. For sure. Yeah, and yeah, I've yeah. heard him rap way harder shit than that. Yeah, yeah. Like, hell yeah. like that's cool or whatever, but mm -hmm. I done heard him... Do some way harder shit what? than that song, but that's about to be his biggest song as a solo artist. Was niggas surprised once they heard that song and then started listening to your music? Like, damn, this nigga hard. Like, yeah, all the time. Yeah, all the time. Like, I get that all the time, man. Yeah. Um, that's like, uh, shout out to uh, Big Gov. Mm -hmm. Hey, shout out Big Gov. He was on this motherfucker. Big Gov, man. I had me and him had got booked to do the same show one day in like Allen Park or some some place in Allen Park or some shit like that. Okay, and um. You know, he did his thing. Mm -hmm. I listened to his music, shit hard, but you know, he big gov. I've been. For sure, yeah, yeah. And then I got up there, and the love he showed me, mm -hmm. and the respect, and you know, we tapped in with each other afterwards. We actually supposed to do a song, so hopefully yeah. we, we, we get that done, but yeah. niggas be surprised when they yeah. hear that like, other shit. Hell yeah. Like, damn, this nigga, this nigga rapping for real. But see, the thing is, people hear that song, and it's not gonna appeal to the, the adult ear. Mm-hmm. Like kids love it. Yeah, for sure. But the adult ear, yeah. it's not. So you gonna hear that one song? You Google my name right now. That's the first song that's gonna pop up because yeah. how big it is. Yeah, hell yeah. So you hear that? You might not go to other music because you be like, oh, he on some other yeah, shit. Yeah, dancing shit. Yeah, 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 yeah but yeah. in all reality, nigga, I, <laughs> I'll rap a lot of you niggas <laughs> for real. Yeah, yeah. Now can that song make it be like, nigga, you on defense mode because niggas might look at you like, all right, this song cheesy. Maybe he that type of nigga until they get punched in the mouth. <laughs> I had to say that. Yeah, I've sure. had to say that. I remember I was at what's that bar in fucking <sighs> fuck. What is it called? Mm. That bar. It ain't. I don't know if it's over. the Bentley. Mm -hmm. I was at the Bentley. Yeah. And I had to, you know, I had to let it be known, like y'all niggas don't get it twisted in this yeah, bitch. For sure. Like oh, we got our pistols in here. I don't know about y'all. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dog. Because niggas will look at that shit like, for instance, Will Smith. Look yeah. at the MC Hammer. These niggas will whoop your ass, bro. Like exactly. These Will, the you see how fit Will Smith is? <laughs> Look at the nigga. Watch me whip. Watch me. Yeah. He's in prison for murder for right sure. now. <laughs> he made the whip in Nene song. It's like it's music. Duh. Don't let this music get you fucked up, bro. Exactly. For real. Don't ever think I'm. <laughs> please, <laughs> for your sake. Hell yeah. Now, cause I I know it, bro. You was on shit like last year. Like that song did a lot, nigga. Like you was on a podcast run, radio run, dog. Mm -hmm. yep. Like like I and I know for a fact, bro. Like like uh, um when you look at it, that's why I try to make sure I separate myself from other podcasts, dog. Had that shit be funny, talk shit, laugh, crash some jokes. But sometimes you go on a show like, do you ever be like, dog, why the fuck did I even come to this bitch? Like, oh yeah, for sure. Nigga don't do any homework, don't know shit about you. For sure, that one I've done song. plenty of podcasts like that. People reach out, hey, I want to get you on my podcast. I always say yeah, yeah, for sure. Cause you just never know. Yeah. No matter what, if this person got three people who watch their shit, that's three more three, people yeah, that might start fucking yeah, with you. For sure, you know what I'm saying? So I always say it, but it's definitely been some podcasts where I was like, <laughs> complete waste. <laughs> Cause oh, I hate a podcast that like I knew shit from your earlier time. Like I was talking about some old shit you first started on. Like yeah. do your homework when you have a nigga come in your they show. They don't do their homework. Uh, well, some people do, but then if some shit I be like, like, bruh, <laughs> like, uh, yeah. But people don't be doing their homework for real. They be yeah. asking me questions or they be having shit wrong. Yeah. Like they they say some shit and they be wrong. Then you gotta correct them on yeah, that yeah, shit. Like. Yeah. <laughs> Nah. Like I'm your guest. Why don't you have this shit right? Yeah, you know why what I'm don't saying? you know shit, dog? For real. So, uh, nigga, you ever thought about doing some shit? Cause you a funny nigga, dog. You ever you, you never thought about doing a little show podcast, dog? On, not, on I a, thought about it. Uh, yeah. Actually, I might be working on one. Yeah. Um, my boy, shout out to David Blue at Sweet Three Twenty Eight Studios. He yeah. uh, he just 
got a podcast. He turned one of his rooms in his studio okay. to a podcast room. Yeah. So we've been talking about doing a podcast, and yeah. we're going to get it going. Would, would y'all just talk about, like, like little topics, or y'all had guests? Like, what, what? We, we plan on having guests. Yeah. We're gonna, we definitely going to talk about topics. Yeah. Um, I guess a good time to start would have been a Will Smith shit, but yeah. whatever. That shit got blew up so fast, like, yeah. it was like, that shit happened. It was like, Will Smith, Will Smith, Will Smith. Hell yeah, for Everywhere sure. Everywhere you look, Hell you yeah. know what I'm saying? Then you got these motherfucking whores talking about some goddamn defend your black queens, but bitch, a uh, 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 chick. <laughs> like, you the same one who will fuck another nigga just when it, your nigga do a Lewis shit. Exactly. Like, nigga, like, don't, nigga, it was nothing to defend, bro. Like, if, like you said, go to the back, nigga, hey, you, you disrespected my wife. Now, if he say fuck your wife, that's when you smack that nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Now, I will say this. I realize this. Like, regular people in the regular world, mm. they don't. They say Will Smith was in wrong. Mm. But the celebrity world, mm. they say he wrong. Yeah, for sure. But I think it's only because they all envision them, themselves being on stage yeah, and the smack. motherfucker yeah. walking yeah. up to him and smacking him <laughs> yeah, okay. in front of the world. No, the world, nigga. The and, world just see this. Man. Then y'all see Tony Rock? Yeah, when yeah, that nigga. That yeah, he, he, Chris Rock brother. He came out there in Tupac, Tupac and shit. Tupac, yeah. yeah. He's out there talking. Nigga, Will will beat you in, Chris ass. <laughs> no, you, you better be humble, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> will will beat them niggas ass, bro. Like, he went out there talking crazy. Yeah, yeah. Low key, Tony Rock ain't the most threatening person. Hey, <laughs> If your last name Rock, I'm not thinking nothing of it. No, now if that was Dave Chappelle, Dave Chappelle would have been tussling with that nigga. Cause Dave Chappelle got strong too. Yeah. That nigga. <laughs> that nigga. Dave Chappelle be so high though. Yeah. He be high. He just be like. Hell yeah. That nigga swole too, dog. Paul. I don't know. I don't see. I don't see. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see too many niggas tussling with Will no, Smith. No, Will's a strong ass nigga, dog. Yeah, like he in the gym, he working out. It's two niggas that they Did say corny. Did you see the slap though? Did you see how? Yeah, it, 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 it looked fake, dog. It did. And then when he came, when he followed through, <laughs> the arm was like this, bro. Yeah, still stiff, it was pimp, stiff bitch. as hell. Duh. He ain't even slap him like with a. You slapped him with a stiff ass hand, so it really hurt. Yeah, that was that motherfucking bitch where my breakfast smacked. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, like you ain't cooked today. <laughs> Bah, I turned it. Yeah, I turned it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Duh. The nigga here was like, I was like, damn. Duh, I was asleep. I wore midnight's, bro, so I took me a little nap. That nigga had sent me a video. I'm like, Chris Ross, man, about Will Smith. What kind of comedy shit is this? Nigga, I didn't believe it, bro, till I watched it. Like, my wife was like, yeah, I was trying to wake you up and tell you. I'm like, dog, this shit is crazy. Man, bro. I was in the bed. I was like, man, here they go bullshitting on the internet. <laughs> then I just kept seeing it. I'm like, all right, where the fucking video? Dog, for sure. Then I seen the video, I was like, oh, God he damn. smacked that nigga. And now you got to live with that smack, too. Like, you got to live. Life. No matter what, Chris Rock, you are attached to that smack. Nigga, for sure. Fast, nigga. That's fucked up, bro. That's you are nigga. No, all, all your accomplishments yeah. are overshadowed by that smack. Nigga, for sure, nigga. Because now, as soon as Chris Rock come up. Yep, smack. Smack. <laughs> then they're going to be like, oh, yeah, he did, uh, uh, what was the movie when he died and, came, and was like a. Oh, yeah, White Man. Yeah. yeah, what was that shit? I forgot he was a comedian though. He came back as a white man. Yeah. He died and he came back as a white man in the white man body. Yeah. That was a good ass movie. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. We, yeah. He came back. He was a comedian. Okay, well you see before, but yeah. like see before and all that, but nigga, before see before and all that, niggas gonna think about that smack. Yeah, yeah, they ain't, they ain't gonna then they gonna go, oh yeah, he played the C B four too though. <laughs> Nigga got smacked. That nigga tell jokes too. Yeah. <laughs> he got smacked like a motherfucker, dog. Damn it's fucked up, Chris. Fuck. It had to be you, man. Damn. Yeah. Now, uh, last year, dog, you dropped a hard ass project, bro. The vaccine, dog. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Do you feel like it got the love, it de the love it deserve? It got a. I'm never gonna feel like shit got the love it deserve. Yeah. If, I, if it ain't put me in a mansion, <laughs> yeah. it ain't get the love it deserve. Yeah. But um, no, it it was great. It was great. I got a lot of great feedback. You know, mm -hmm. seeing money from it. Yeah. So, no, you for sure. That shit, was, that shit was hard. Like I did a top five on that bitch, dog. And I, I asked you what's yours if you remember the track list and shit. It's been a minute. Yeah. Uh, my yeah. shit is up to par. That's my shit. At like, uh -huh. fed up, uh, birthday party and four for four. Okay. What's your shit? Uh, yeah. up to par. Yeah. Act like. Yeah. Birthday party. Uh. Probably dog that. Yeah. Fed up yeah, and then honorable mention for 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 sure. Yeah, because nigga, when he was on, I was listening, I was like, damn, this nigga, this nigga Paul going in this bitch, dog. Yeah, That's yeah. Hard. I remember you talking about that tape when you was on the show and you eventually had dropped it later on and yeah. shit like that. Yeah, no, that shit was hard. So, this new project, dog, I got the three P, dog. First, was just like something like you wanted to put out because, like I said, it's been a minute. 
So cool. yeah, that was my thing. I was like, I need to get some music out there, so I can, you know, start doing some booking. So I went down to Atlanta, mm -hmm. shout out to my brother Florida God. Mm -hmm. uh, I went and worked with him, man. We cooked up some records, mm -hmm. and um, the reason it's only three songs is because most of the time when people drop an album, mm -hmm. most people got three songs mm -hmm. they love. For sure, hell yeah, three yeah. songs they listen to. So I'm like, why not just take the three strongest yeah. songs, put them on the EP. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's called three Pete, three songs and three Pete because the yeah. songs are short as fuck. Yeah, 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 for sure. So and you make want... you want to repeat it. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> so hell that's yeah. where that's where the three Pete come from. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, man. I I just it's a different vibe. It ain't my typical for sure. party strip club turn mm -hmm. up music. You know, like yeah. it, it it got vibes to it. And but it I look ride. at like like do you look at like because I look at every song that you you record. I think you like you try to make it a hit. Yeah, so I oh, feel for like sure. all three of these bitches is a hit. So you do you go into like, to the studio like, dog, this is going to be a hit for every time I record a song? I go in there like, I want to make something catchy that's going to vibe. Mm -hmm. If motherfuckers want to play in the club, play it at a barbecue, they want to mm -hmm. ride in the car to it. For sure. And so I'm real good at like catchy shit mm -hmm. and like just finding a vibe with shit. So I definitely always want to make a hit. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think... That body bag song I got though is, is dog, crazy yeah, as fuck. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna say, dog. Yeah, body bag. Like you, when you, which one do you look like? You look at shooting a video for one of these videos. Um, so I sh actually shot videos, all three of them. Oh shit, okay. I just ain't put them out. Um, I'm probably about to reshoot body bag because of the reception, and I just yeah. want to do a better video to it. Yeah. But I shot videos, all three of them already. Yeah. Now you drop, you drop one call away, mm -hmm. uh, list crawling, and then body bag. So like all, all three of those songs kind of like it's almost kind of similar and shit, but it's a different whole little vibe and shit, little right. same like type of tempo and shit. Like, what you looking at like to attack the girls with these with these songs? Of course, yeah. I mean, the females is let's be real. People who buy music be females and white people <laughs> for sure. Hell yeah. And Hell then yeah. the niggas follow behind. Yeah, whatever the female listening to. Exactly. So. I always and then that's just my style anyway. It's always been like a ladies man type of dude. Yeah. So like. You know, regardless of my hoish ways or whatever I did back in the day, <laughs> like I, <laughs> back in I the always, day. you know, I always, you know, got was better off with the women. I ain't never been the shoot 'em up, bang bang rapper. For sure, you for know sure. what I'm saying? Trying to get the niggas to be in yeah. their car with the motherfucking uh, Flint uh, energy beats. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now you say uh, your hoish ways in your past. They catch up with you once they seen you was in a relationship and hitting you up like y'all you a bitch ass nigga like you oh you not you it got was a it wasn't necessarily like but for sure like yeah, it yeah. was definitely like, so oh you, not oh, you got, got a girl, a girl now, now? Yeah, oh yeah. you would you got a you know uh but <laughs> whatever hell yeah now uh a couple bars on this motherfucker I want to talk about dog I want to ask you on Liz Carl you said I don't care how many how many niggas you hit it's my time yeah. you really feel like that like if it's do it depends Well first of all Do y'all know what List Crawler is Don't tell me I was gonna ask you that <laughs> I didn't know <laughs> it's, it's it's like the back page of today mm -hmm. So Back page went away Okay And List Crawler stepped up Okay 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 So Yeah I'm uh, to that Yeah oh, You will be after that <laughs> <laughs> So they get you search like uh, Like Instagram Yeah so when you, when you, when you Back back when you were single Did you care about what, what a girl got on they motherfucking on they on they body and shit they body count like would you when them niggas okay as far as like really taking a girl serious yeah you care of course you gonna care about for that for sure for sure but if we just fuck around having a good time or whatever whatever yeah. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit like <laughs> we, we we here now today yeah, me and sure. you what is we doing for sure that, now is somebody you trying to get serious with is that something that you gotta have a conversation about just in case yeah you but at the same nigga? time I can't really be biased so, I didn't probably hit is it, it, hundreds, uh, hundreds of bitches. <laughs> yeah. Like, so if a girl got a little, yeah. But as long as you went out here getting dogged and ran and, yeah. You know what I'm saying? For like, sure. yeah, you was out here, nigga. Get, out here getting, getting your face, on yeah, shit. yeah, your face busted <laughs> on and shit. Niggas don't got no super crazy stories yeah. like you on tape and shit. Nigga, like, damn, yeah. my, my girl, like, you on video up. getting your face busted on, like, damn. I kiss that face <laughs> every day. <nigga. laughs> Hell yeah! Like dude. that shit. Like, but other than that, man, I, I you know I don't really like. If I fuck with you, I fuck with you for sure. Hell yeah! Now one call away, bro. On that track, have you ever been that nigga that was one call away whenever they nigga was doing some bullshit? Oh, for sure. 
<laughs> Hell yeah. So how do that, you... it kind of fuck with you because it make you insecure <laughs> when you get in your own situation. Exactly. Like, yeah. all right, we getting some bullshit. You got a nigga like that you can call because yeah. I know a bitch that's called me every time her nigga cut up. Yeah, for sure. For she sure. She call me if the nigga ain't acting up. <laughs> You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So it make you, especially when you fresh in a relationship, mm -hmm. it make you. But you know, you 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 feel your person out, and you get that trust with that person. In. Yeah, for but sure. yeah, I definitely been a one call away nigga for yeah, sure. Like yeah, nigga Polo, this nigga Craig out here fucking up. Who had the one call away song a long time ago? Was it Chingy? Oh, uh, one call away. Yeah, yeah, Chingy, Chingy. and Tyrese, right? Chingy, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, one one call away, you was my baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. I would tease my wife, dog, because, you know, she, that was her little crush and shit, dog. Goddamn. Who, Chingy? Yeah, when oh, she was young man. and shit. Goddamn, Chingy, one call away. Her crush was Chingy and Justin Timberlake and shit. She probably, when she got older, she probably was devastated. Like, man, this <laughs> nigga ain't crazy. <laughs> that nigga trying to be fake militant and shit, dog. Fake deep and shit, dog. Funny ass shit. Chingy was making money, though. He was making. <laughs> oh, for sure. But they run through it, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. Now, on uh, on uh, one call away, you say, I know a difference. She falling in love when she. Oh, I know a difference. She falling in love when she fuck. She telling me to bust in it. Yeah. You that's that's a wild shit, bro. You ever what's the story like behind that shit when <laughs> nigga you and that bitch nigga deep stroking and she like nigga just let loose in this bitch. Like, <laughs> no comment, nigga. I got <laughs> Don't get in trouble, nigga. Yeah. Uh yeah. It was so on purposes. Oh, uh, yeah, um, praise the Lord today, Sunday. Yeah, uh, I hope everybody watching right now. Y'all went to church this morning. Y'all ain't wake up drinking like me. Yeah. We're gonna have to plead the fifth on that. Oh, for okay, sure. because only because yeah. if I, I got a fresh story in my head, okay, that involved my woman, yeah, <laughs> okay, okay. But we ain't gonna get into all that because when she watches, she gonna, she gonna be pissed if I tell what happened. Okay, but shout out to uh, 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 Miss Polo and shit, Miss Frost. <laughs> Cause you got the one chicks that wrap them layers around you and lock them bitches though. You got fight, nigga. Get off me, bitch. Oh, I mean, back in the day, all yeah. that. But yeah. let me tell you something, man. Uh, I was very good in driver's ed, so my pullout game <laughs> <is> strong. <laughs> and we undefeated in this ball. Pulling up. Skrr. <laughs> Straight out of the parking spot. Now, nigga, you say it's strong, but nigga, I know it's been time you probably was a little scared. <laughs> Until she can't. Terrified. <laughs> Having to uh, take care of shit later on. Duh, hell yeah. A few yeah. weeks later. Man. Uh, spending that $50 at CVS. Y'all know. Duh. Can we be with your chick? I know a couple of times. I'm like, duh. You be, that's the only time you wait for her to come on her period and be happy. Like, oh, you on your period? Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Happy as hell, duh. Yeah, it, it's bittersweet. Yeah. You're like, damn, you on your period. You hell yeah. Like, but, damn. You on your period. Hell yeah, for sure. We good. I'm happy, nigga. Yeah. Hell yeah. Now with this project, bro, like you, you put this shit out. Is this something that's gonna lead to a, a full length album? Yeah, yes and no. Mm -hmm. I think I like dropping these small projects like this. For sure, it helped the streams. Yeah, no, no, fast because it's you easy. You got three to songs. To yep, they're short, two minutes, yep. and they vibe, they mm -hmm. ride. Yeah, like everybody who. Hit me up. They like, bro. I listen to shit like seven times. I listen no, to like oh, ten here, I listen to it about yeah. good six, nigga. Appreciate it, bro. You know what like what I'm they all like, bro. I have to keep listening to it over and over. They so short, but they hit. Yeah, no facts. And facts. that was my plan when I did the shit. Like, yeah. ooh, excuse me. That Cajun pasta. I hope y'all smell them burps. <laughs> <laughs> Duh, no, baby. but uh, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do full length uh -huh. again. I like the EP idea. Maybe more than three songs. Maybe five, six, or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Maybe even do a three-minute song. Yeah, like, for sure. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. But yeah. Because the days of having three verses is gone. Oh, three verses? That's a boring-ass song. Now you go listen to them old songs back in the day. Like, damn. Like, Man, I was right. See, when I get drunk, I be listening to all type of shit. I listen to Lil Wayne, Pussy Money Weed. Yeah, oh, shit. That was long-ass song. That got three verses. Yeah, that was a long-ass song. Long as fuck. <laughs> when it got to the third verse, I... I was riding like, damn, I forgot this bitch had a third <laughs> verse, but I'm still riding like, Duh. but we older, nigga, that was, we came up in the three yeah, verse for era. Sure. Fast, you know what fast. I'm saying? So Especially it's that, different for us, but that shit is dead yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Niggas when I Don't you dare put three verses nigga, on no song. Hell no. And your two verses better be 12s and not 16s. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. Because niggas going to be like, all right, nigga, I'm tired of this shit. Let me go to the next song. Because remember Lil Wayne, Miss Tape used to be long as fuck, 20 songs. 25 songs, nigga. It's just disrespectful. How you getting on niggas' beats and, and doing better than they song? Hell yeah, destroying just disrespectful, that shit. Wayne. Destroying that shit, dog. But back, yeah, back then, and then that's why I never understood why a new artist who not known or drop a song 
a, a tape that's more than 10 songs. Yeah, never. Like, I don't want to listen to 22 songs of you. Because they do it because they got the music. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? You got to think, when you got that budget, the studio budget, these people be living in the studio. I saw Doughboy on, uh, Doughboy from Cleveland or whatever. I seen him on uh, Vlad TV yeah. talking about Future. Mm -hmm. And he was like, Bro, Future will book the studio for a week and not leave. Yeah, for sure. He'll stay in the studio a whole week. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. He'll book out every room in the studio. So he in one room and he got all his artists in other rooms. Mm -hmm. He booking the whole studio for mm -hmm. a week. Hell yeah, for sure. And when you got that budget, you putting out so many songs. Mm -hmm. You making so many songs. So it ain't nothing for you to put out a 20 song yeah. CD and people like yeah. seven other songs. Hell yeah, for You sure. get what I'm saying? Yeah. Because all you need to do is have, to be honest, for an album to be good, consider yeah. good, all you got to have is about four, yeah. four bangers yeah, bang, on that yeah, bitch. Yeah. If you, you got four, ba four songs that motherfuckers love, yeah, and a couple songs that's kind of You got a good album. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. So. Now with this song, you know what I'm saying, this tape being three songs and it being like for the women, how would you feel if you, uh, you know, it could be your, your, your maid chick, it could be back in the day when you, you know what I'm saying, your horse ways. Uh, <laughs> if a girl put on your shit as the players to get the mood right, is you, is you, is you weirded out by that shit or you just like, fuck, I ain't gonna lie, a little, something, something, a little bit, because it's just be like, I don't know, like, I don't know. It do, it do feel, it, I yeah. mean, it's happened. I'm gonna say, yeah, I'm gonna say, have it happened before? I mean, it, it is a little like, yeah. But then you kind of get cocky at the same time, like, yeah. That's me. Yeah. To, yeah. <laughs> Nigga stronger with the motherfucking song, like, oh, that's me, baby. Yeah, but um, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I don't really want to hear myself. If you yeah. gonna cut off some music, just cut off some motherfucking, uh, you know, Tyrese, Tory Lanez, some yeah, R&B, yeah. some see, yo, some Now, your shit. shit for, like, regular niggas, that shit be, a, yo, three songs, two minutes a piece, that be good enough for me. Good six. <laughs> <laughs> Put your ass in 15 minutes. My name is making through the third one. <laughs> hey, hey, you make. <laughs> Hell no. On, on a good night, nigga. Yeah, they, they, can get, they can get to the hook on that third one and be like, oh, shit. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's over. Bye, man. <laughs> Back oh, you gonna give me a towel. <laughs> <laughs> Duh, I ain't got no point to prove, nigga. Fuck that. And you doing, you think she, you doing, she think you doing a good job. You ain't went to the third song. Like, damn, he making it through songs. Yeah. I'll be wondering, I'll be like, man, I ain't no way in hell you happy with me. <laughs> and that'd be, that'd be different when you're in a relationship. Yeah, when yeah, you, yeah. With your, you 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 busting fast as hell on your woman. Duh, hell like, yeah. If you hit some random hoes, yeah. you might take go crazy real quick. Plus, you fucking with a condom when you hit some random hoes. But like, you fucking your girl, you fucking raw. Yeah. That's your pussy. You like, yeah, man, I get back to it. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, I you get got, back to we it. Got, we got a good. 15 pumps <laughs> Five positions <laughs> Exactly Three pumps Each position I switch Reverse Reverse that, <laughs> Hey that, That's my go to But I know it's about to be a rap Like I'll be alright I'm putting her about Three of them bitches yeah. right? She's like Shit. He, he had me all over the place I look at my girls at the top like, I'm sorry. <laughs> For the show, dog. <laughs> hey, I be, I remember like when you. That's when you go through a period when you got wait and shit. You better yeah. say it's been a couple of days, so don't be, you know. <laughs> hey, my bad. Rocky, Rocky, quick. No, we was uh, we was uh, we was talking shit yesterday, dog. Me and this nigga, my uh, my nigga Juan, my my dog Lance and shit, dog. Had a couple of drinks and we was talking about like nigga that first time, nigga like. It's been, I know it's so long ago, but do you yeah. remember like your first time, how good or bad it was, dog? Yeah. Yeah. Great. Oh, shit. Well, it was great. But see, the thing oh, was, my great. first time, the girl, it was her first time, too. Okay, okay. It's like some whole, like, like, story shit, like, yeah. <laughs> childhood, little weird shit. But, for sure, for sure. I already know. Uh, yeah. Busted fast as hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely busted fast. Hell yeah, dog. But, um, uh, you know. Nigga, yeah. I told these niggas my first time was so quick, nigga. We, nigga, she probably thought she was still a virgin, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> my shit hit the lips and went. <laughs> that's how that shit. That's how I, I feel like this, right? With the condom. When 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 when, when girls <laughs> when girls be like, oh yeah, like if if a nigga fuck you for a long time, that means your pussy ain't hitting. Yeah. Ain't no way in hell I should last a long ass time. Yeah, no hours. If your shit, shit good. <laughs> 
<laughs> Snap of a finger. Nigga, my shit touched them bitch like, ha! Yeah, exactly. Oh, I'm out. <laughs> you already be eager. That'd be the worst part. Duh. You be eager. I'll call my big brother like, bro, why does this keep happening to me? Like, nigga, you too anxious, nigga. Like, you anxious, too nigga. Too anxious, yeah. Like, nigga, calm down, relax, nigga. This nigga is cool, nigga. You getting it now, nigga. Because I'm in that bitch like, damn, I ain't getting it, nigga. I finally got it. Oh, shit, nigga. That shit was... I was like, damn, I was mad at myself. Like, she's like, yeah, we gonna start? Like, nigga, uh. Uh-huh. <laughs> this be the worst. Did you come? That'd be the worst question. Yeah. Did you come? You be like. Hey, I mean, that bitch like, yeah, I, don't, I think we should wait. <laughs> she walked like, out that yeah, bed. Give me about 15 minutes. 15 minutes of I'm asleep. <laughs> nigga, she walked out that room like, nigga, I'm still a virgin, nigga. Yeah, it be like that, man. Funny as hell, dog. Now, like, like, you've been doing this music for a minute, bro. Like, and we spoke on, you know, the diamond situation and shit. What's your advice, bro, for a nigga who coming into this bitch want to be a rapper, a singer, just an artist overall? Uh, fuck Instagram, because yeah. everybody perps on there. Facts. Um, and also, Instagram likes is not streams yeah. and downloads, <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. don't 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 let. See, the problem with most people is motherfuckers see other artists and what they doing, mm-hmm. and they think they supposed to be there. For sure, fast. A lot of people got their facade up, and not mm-hmm. even that. A lot of, I realize a lot of niggas get IG love, yeah. and their music don't get the love they IG do. Yeah, My shit kind of the opposite. Yeah, yeah, My yeah. music on Spotify and shit get more love than I might get on IG. Hell yeah, hell yeah. You get what I'm saying? So my advice is don't get discouraged and just keep pushing it. Yeah. Don't compare yourself to nobody. For Don't sure. feel like you supposed to be on a certain person level. You mm-hmm. probably doing something. Everybody got their own journey. Look at Vezo. Yeah, yeah. Them you niggas getting their shine now, nigga. You know how long we been listening to them niggas? Niggas for a while, nigga. So long, I thought Ten that nigga plus. was old, nigga. I thought Vezo was old. Nigga. <laughs> them niggas is dead. Like, we dead the same age. Yeah, I thought Vezo about 40, nigga. Like, okay. Exactly. <laughs> That's crazy you just said that, because literally probably like a week or two ago, I'm in the studio. I'm like, man... Bro, Vezo gotta be like 36. Yeah, for sure. Like, that nigga gotta be up Duh, there now. Nigga young, and bro. they like, hell no, that nigga only like 32, 31, <laughs> some shit Duh. like that. When I found I'm that like, out. I'm like, ain't no way that nigga close to my age, <laughs> bro. Duh. And they, they Wikipedia that nigga. I was like, damn. Cause he been doing shit so long, bro. Peasy. Duh. Peasy Young. Yep. Like, the Baby nigga face. just was doing the shit so young. They yeah. had early success in Detroit. For sure. Them niggas was about and 18. They getting they shine out. But them niggas been working hard. Them niggas probably got hundreds of videos yeah, and yeah. thousands of songs. Yep. yep. And that, that's a perfect example of just waiting your time, dog. Exactly. I'm quite sure the niggas like, dog, what the fuck, dog? Like, and, and me, I ain't no, like, I love to see that shit. Mm-hmm. Like, I ain't gonna lie. You know who I wish was getting that, that type of love they get right now? What up? Dope Boys. Yeah, for sure. Like, yeah, yeah. as a group, though. Like, yeah, payroll group. doing his thing. Individual but, payroll, yeah. Bro, yeah, let's yeah. be real. Without dope boys, it might not have been no team east side. Yeah, it won't be a lot of these niggas. Like, like, besides Blade and Street Lords and all yeah, that shit. Yeah, for sure. Detroit was, I mean, we Tone Tone and KDZ, but yeah, hell yeah. Nigga, when dope boys hit, it changed the whole. Like, no, it did. that's when Detroit music. That's when Detroit really just started listening to Detroit. Yep, yeah, hell yeah. And that's that's because you in Detroit, too. you at the gas station, anything. Niggas ain't really listening to industry music like that. Man. They listen to Detroit shit. <laughs> Hell yeah, in for Detroit. Sure. That's Facts. the thing about Detroit. Detroit listen to Detroit. Yep, yep. And I feel like that started with the Doughboy shit. No, it did. That's a fact, dog. Like That's before that, don't get me wrong, niggas listen to Detroit, but no. Yeah. Not like Not like now. <laughs> nigga. It's crazy. Nigga, hell yeah. Cause you gotta think, nigga, Doughboys kinda like introduced the sound as far as like the the way they rap. The beats they were using and shit like that. Yeah. And I just felt like it was a trickle down effect on the niggas who was coming after them, bro. Like, them niggas really, like, kind of, like, set a wave for Detroit, and niggas don't really talk about them like that for real. All because of that bullshit with, you know, saying, with, with Kid and shit. Yeah. And Kobo, I think that kind of, like, made niggas, you know how niggas be, bro. But at the same time, bro, I, I never looked at that no type of, like, it happens. Yeah, it happens, It's yeah, the streets, yeah. bro. For sure. Niggas done lost a fight before. Look how look how little and frail kid is. Yeah, 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 for sure. Hell yeah. That don't make him weak because he got yeah, nigga just, punched out. Shit, like, just ha- it happens. It happens. Yeah. yeah, and you got a group of niggas fighting. It's like four yeah. y'all, nigga. So fuck it, nigga. We going to rumble, nigga. Shit happens. I mean, all them niggas good now. Like, yeah, they everybody. squash that shit, but it ruined the careers for whatever reason. Like, for sure. Shit yeah. happens. But you right, though. Outside of, like. I feel like if you ain't snitch on nobody. Yeah. Like, your rap career should be tarnished. Hell Unless yeah. you told on somebody or you getting bitched up, I think it's like sure. he ain't bitch up. He no. fought. Yeah, it just he got he got punched yeah, out. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. But you're right though. Outside of like payroll as an individual, like they don't get the love that they deserve, bro. 
For real, for real. Yeah. And like I said, Detroit is making noise now, dog. Like, everybody fucking with us in different states and cities and shit. I saw PZ and Vezo on the Wallow and Gilly podcast. Mm -hmm. Motherfucker Vezo was on Breakfast Club. Mm -hmm. Like, that I nigga, that. he was on, um, what's that, No Jumper shit. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, niggas, niggas, niggas is paying uh, Vezo attention. Vezo industry now. Yeah. Vezo definitely industry now. Hell yeah. They paying uh, attention. And PZ right there. Yep, for sure. But Baby Vezo face. for sure when it. Babyface, Babyface, yep. I would say Babyface, 42 Doug, Mm -hmm. And Vezo mm -hmm. Sada too Yeah T Shit happened with Sada baby That kinda like Yeah kinda knocked shit off a little knocked bit Knocked his shit off a little yeah. bit But he still He good Yeah for sure He still gonna get some money T Grizzly I don't know I, I'll be honest with you He yeah. getting so much money outside of rap Yeah now, I don't even know if he really rapping for real. I, yeah. I heard the T Grizzly <laughs> song In a long ass time Yeah for sure Yeah I think he He doing so much other shit that Shit, he probably like nigga, like fuck it, I'm getting money this way. Yeah, I, I, I heard he, make, he was making like thirty k a month just off Twitch alone. Yeah, hell yeah. Playing yeah. video games and shit. <laughs> fucking shit, fuck it. Cause he out there in Cali, nigga. He not even like. What'd you say to a nigga like that though? Cause some niggas be out. He don't be in the city no more. But nigga, what do you expect him to do? He got a wife, dog, got a kid. Like mm -hmm. he just kind of like separate, separate himself from. He good. He yeah. took his money and was smart. He put it in areas where he's gonna have residual income and be straight for. It. Forever Yeah for sure He ain't do the typical Dummy rap shit And just buy change And Hell yeah Hell yeah Go party And, and be in the But when I time. met T Grizzly I met him When first day out First blew up Cause yeah. that's when my son First went viral Yeah yeah We was in Atlanta Okay And Nigga cool like I couldn't even believe It was the same nigga Who made first day out <laughs> Yeah for sure yeah Like yeah. that's the type of like He really a cool nigga He is straight He got his head on straight For like, sure hell yeah not taking away saying he ain't no street nigga or nothing like that, but yeah, but he just know what he know what he trying to do as far as his whole career. And yeah, he money. like I, I just looked at him as like a video game playing ass nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey niggas making a kill off that shit though. Yeah, for sure, <laughs> Call of Duty and all that shit. Nigga, I need to have my son. Hey man, I gotta tell y'all something. I thought niggas said, hey, I got to fuck you Uh uh, I pulled up. Where the camera at? What the fuck is this? Oh. Look how this cat when I I pulled up over <laughs> on the east side to the podcast. Duh. Where the camera? This cat. Oh shit! Man, what the fuck is this? This sat on my hood. Like shit was sweet. Get the fuck off my. Get the fuck off my shit. Just hopped on my hood, and bro. Be Sitting right outside y'all shit. I'm like, bro, this cat gangsta as hell. I was driving up the street and I seen it. I'm like, bro, this cat not getting out the middle of the street. Does it not see this big ass truck coming? Dog, that's that's my nigga angry uh, uh fucking cat, dog. Then the dog. cat hopped on my hood, bro. <laughs> and and just stared at me. I'm like, damn, should I be scared? <laughs> dog. And the black cat nigga on a Sunday. If you superstitious, nigga nigga scared to hell, dog. Hey, bro. Dog. <laughs> and it ain't get off my hood. Even when I smacked that in, it ain't get off. Yeah, I had to, I had to pull the start moving the car a little bit for it to move. Dog. I don't that's, that's, I'll run your ass over. That's a neighborhood cat, dog. Nigga. <laughs> yeah, that's a uh, well, shopper they buy cat, nigga. <laughs> Eastside finest, man. Dog, funny as hell, dog. Damn. Goddamn shots to the cat, dog. P cat shit. Nigga. I just have to say it, bro. I, I'm going to have to post that video later. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm, why is this cat just on my shit? Like, then you staring at me. Hell <laughs> yes. Lightweight scared. I don't even like cats. <laughs> me neither, dog. I hate them bitches, dog. Now, uh, Dog, what was um, the goal when you first started rapping compared to now, bro? I know it's a difference from when you first started this shit to, your, um, you know, you being yourself now. Ain't no goal. Yeah. I feel like when you keep making accomplishments, For there's sure. no not... such thing as a goal. For sure. Of course, you want to get to a certain level. I'm yeah. like, okay, I probably said that wrong. Getting to a certain level is a goal. But, For sure. Fair. But yeah. When I say it ain't no goal, there's no finish line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no ceiling to it. Mm -hmm. The sky is the limit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really have to be the biggest thing. I'd be uh, a mogul. Yeah. I want to take this music and use, um, like Jay Z. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. They ain't rapping no more. Hell no. No, I ain't got to rap. I saw Benny the Butcher on the internet talking about. Talking about, yeah, man, I reached out to Jay for a verse because he signed the right night shit. For sure, yep, yep. But uh, he said he went in the rapping mode at the time. Yeah. yeah so. <laughs> He's never going to be in the rapping no, mode again. Is, he no, doesn't need to if rap. If he do, it's going to come out on some spontaneous shit like he yeah, did with Yeah, like, like he like, might drop a, another album or something for himself, yeah. but that's what I want to be. Yeah, for sure. Hell I want yeah. music to be... To a point that you ain't even got to drop music to make money. Like, yeah, you just, like... Yeah, hell yeah. That, that's how I see myself. And I know I got the business mindset and shit like that. Yeah. So, you know, that's, you, that's really... Do that's, you still feel the same way about music as you did when you first started? No. 
Yeah, I already know. Uh, niggas don't even. No, sir. Yeah. Because. Do I take away from the talent? Like, do I take away from the from the production? Yeah, I just feel like it's like this. Not on no jealous shit or nothing like that, but you hear certain shit that's mm -hmm. that people fuck when you be like, man, this shit not even like. Yeah, for sure. Like. <laughs> ain't even that sweet though like, yeah, yeah and it's just like I feel the same with the podcast I'm gonna be real like <laughs> shout out to all the female artists doing their thing yeah but if you a bad bitch mm -hmm. and you rap mm -hmm. niggas fucking with you just off you being a bad bitch no facts hell because yeah because I, I ain't gonna say no names or nothing like that but I know some bad bitches that yeah. rap yeah and they trash yeah, hell yeah no facts but they so bad that they getting attention from all that these they motherfuckers. They getting attention and yeah, niggas man. fucking with them. You know what For I'm sure. saying? Like, shout out to female artists. I love, I love the women of the world. I yeah. love female artists. I love any artist doing their thing. Mm -hmm. But I'm just being honest. It's female artists because you're bad. Yeah. You're getting attention, and but, your music is. Very, don't you don't you think they kind of know that too though? They kind of using that shit like, listen, I got the looks. I, I definitely don't think they know that. <laughs> like. Nobody's telling them that. Yeah, for sure. Everybody in their ear is telling them they hard because okay. they want to fuck. Yeah. All right. This uh, quick question on that on that shit. We just talking about this shit kind of like on the podcast on your shit Friday. So you got this artist right? She getting all the attention, all the buzz, all the love and shit, dog. Bad bitch, fat ass, all niggas want her. Your homeboy investing into investing money into this chick. Okay. You know she ass, but he say, Polo, I want you to come in and be her manager. Do you tell a nigga, dog, stop investing in her? Or you like, fuck it, we gonna eat off this shit? I mean, if it, if it may, if, if she's buzzing, but she trash. and she's trash, yeah. I'm not gonna turn down no bad. <laughs> <laughs> but no. like, if she not buzzing, if she just bad and niggas ain't fucking with her music yeah. and shit, and they just like, then no. Would you let your or nigga know? Or if she open and let somebody write for her, mm -hmm. like, I can help you make the music. For sure, for sure, for sure. So... That that's one thing, but yeah, man, I I, I wouldn't turn on no bag. Yeah. Um, Would you let your man know? Like, you know she ass, right? Like, but hey, fuck it. <laughs> I'm very honest, and that's my problem. <laughs> but for sure, I'll yeah. be in the studio. No, my niggas would be working. I'd be like, this nigga do be honest. He be on IG, nigga talking shit like a motherfucker on the stories. Do niggas be hitting you like, dog? What up? Like, what's wrong with you, nigga? Oh, for sure. This nigga said niggas be uh talking about some niggas shouldn't teeth shouldn't like they eating uh sandwich all the time. Oh, the bottom of the <laughs> right here. Yeah, the other, you got know, people that had that little shit look like they were eating a sandwich, <laughs> look like wet bread on your shit. <laughs> I buy of your teeth look like you been eating a sandwich. Duh, fucking hell, duh. <laughs> nigga, you never talk about nigga doing no comedy, nigga. Like <laughs> hey, all the time, bro. I'm really, a, I'm real life. A, I think that's why my music be all right because I'm just, I'm a funny nigga. Like I know duh. how to talk shit. You should write some comedy, get on that bitch though one day and see what the fuck. Happened, I thought dog. about it, but I'd be mad if people ain't laughing at my jokes. Yeah, that shit hard because that's how I be thinking about these niggas who be funny on on on, on Instagram doing skits. Like it's a difference in being funny on skits and being funny on stage. Yeah, for sure. You know and then. It was different between getting booed as a rapper and booed as a comedian. Yeah. <laughs> like, I got booed as a rapper one time. Yeah. I, you I, hurt? I, I wasn't hurt. Yeah. I, I did some bullshit, though. So, it was a, I'm going to give y'all the story oh, real drunk, quick. drunk, nigga. <laughs> Always. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it was it was like a talent show at Eastern Michigan. Yeah. It was a competition, actually. And, like, the sound system was fucked up in the auditorium. So, I'm like, man, starting my shit over, I couldn't hear. Yeah. The feedback monitor on the stage wasn't no good. Mm -hmm. So, I had them start my song over, like, two or three times. Yeah. Damn. And people started booing after, like, the <laughs> second time. I was like, hey, everybody here can suck my dick. <laughs> Don't you mess on the mic. And people started laughing and shit. After that, they were fucking with me. But they did boo me. Duh, that's your funny thing. That's they booed me at first. Like, boo, nigga, you keep starting your song. I mean, fuck y'all, nigga. Bitch ass Fuck y'all. Suck my dick. <laughs> that's the first thing niggas say when they get mad. All nigga. I see was eyes like, <laughs> this nigga just tell everybody to suck his dick? Hell no. That nigga might have a thousand Will Smiths coming up on fucking stage, dog. That shit was crazy. Hell no. Yeah, no, that shit, that shit got to be fucked up when you getting booed, bro. Yeah, uh, so, like, think about it as a comedian, though. Like, your job is to make people laugh. Yeah, you write, you writing a whole 30-minute bit. Laughter is happiness. So, yeah. if people boo you, that means you're making them mad. You're doing the exact opposite of <laughs> yeah, what you're supposed to do. For sure. Right or yeah, wrong. Yeah, for sure. Tomatoes, so, tomatoes, tomatoes. Man, what's more important to you, dog? A nigga who lyrical or a nigga who can make songs? What's more important? Make songs. Yeah. That shit, you gonna eat off that lyrical, shit. Lyrical, cool. I feel like anybody can put some bars together. Mm-hmm. I love... Lyricism mm -hmm. Like I watch battle rap Like a motherfucker yeah, I love, love battle rap 
Shout uh, out to Calico Smack man. and all that shit yeah. yeah Like Quest McCarty mm-hmm. Underrated That's my guy Yeah like, for sure Definitely desire more shine Than what he get But he doing his thing as well mm-hmm. But um You got artists like Y'all ever met Ty Ferris? Uh, I heard I heard that name Ty Ferris from Detroit Yeah I heard Lyrical that name Lyrical as fuck Music great Yeah Like on some Roy shit Mm-hmm. And he do good He got a great fan base Yeah But he should he he should be higher than what he is based for off sure. his music. Yeah, for sure. Then you got motherfuckers who just make songs. Yeah, who blow up. Who blow up? Yeah, like, yeah. hell yeah, for sure. No, that's fast because some niggas be too. Some niggas is it, fucked up. Some niggas is too lyrical. Too lyrical, and exactly. Get, yeah, like, and that's what I be arguing with Bean about. I be like, we be in the studio. I be like, Bean, you 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 making the music too complex. Yeah, for sure. Like you you. You want people to be able to rap along and mm-hmm. understand. Yeah. You when you try to put all them hard ass bars in there and flow it like people yeah. don't understand what the fuck you talking about. It's going over people's heads. Yeah, that's like Papoose. That nigga could rap his ass off. But exactly. He's too too lyrical. But, though. but like, Papoose is he got Remy Ma. Yeah. Nobody's about to go. What's the last Papoose song you listen to? Boom. <laughs> I don't know. I don't what's know. the last Future song you listen to? See, you know, I'm 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 terrible with names, names of songs and shit like that. But you've listened to Future. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. You've listened to Migos. I listen to them more you've recently. You've listened to Lil Baby. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. You've listened to 42 Doug. Yeah, for sure. Hell the yeah. The niggas can't rap better than the Papoose and no, J. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Oh, we don't use J. Cole. Yeah, he, J. Cole, he, yeah, he, 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 he different. Yeah, he, he, he like Kendrick and yeah, all like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, some Chance the Rapper. Yeah, yeah. That nigga heard, ain't been buzzing in a while. You heard a Chance the Rapper song lately? Hell no. Only thing you heard from that nigga about him being a family man and shit. He can be a married and shit, dog. Yeah, bro. Childish Gambino. Yeah. Like these motherfuckers who make records that 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 are lyrical. Yeah. Nobody's checking for that shit. No. Nobody wanna hear that shit. If it no, ain't sure. if it ain't going in the you club, get your you get your certain fan base with them niggas, but as a as a as a talent and an artist to blow up like from everywhere, they not really getting fucked with like that. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And and, and you gotta you gotta think a lot of these people came up in the now ain't the same as it was before. They came up in a different era mm-hmm. when it was alright to be more lyrical. Hell, hell yeah. Now People don't want to hear that shit. Yeah, hell yeah. They're like, you listen to girl rappers, what what they sounds be about? Fucking, yeah, fucking. How good they pussy is. Yeah, that's it. How they suck dick. Hell yeah, for sure. Like. For sure, that's it, dog. That's it. How they motherfucking get to a bed. Every female artist who own, bad as fuck, right? Hell yeah. You don't see no ugly female artist. Nope. That's like, dog. Even, yeah. even Lizzo. Yeah. Lizzo, she's a beautiful big yeah, woman. Yeah, hell yeah, for sure. For sure. And she had a dope ass record. Young M.A., nigga, she could rap, but nobody paid attention to her because exactly she, she had that one song and that was it. And, ooh, yeah, motherfucker, my son. I mean, because my, she's uh, a stud. Yeah, like for sure, so niggas, niggas ain't finna just be riding to no yep. female regardless of how hard. And then females it is. ain't really riding to her, so it's kind of exactly. she in a fucked up situation. What's the last? I'm not gonna say ugly, but not attractive female. That was on Missy Elliott. Yeah, that right. Was a long time ago, nigga. Missy Elliott is the as a female rapper, mm-hmm. that's not gorgeous and cold as fuck and got cold ass. But when she came out, she was. Yeah, damn. I'm trying to, now you got me thinking about an ugly chick that's kind of like. You cold. know who else wasn't that fine when they came out, but later got fine as fuck? What Eve. When Eve, Eve yeah, came yeah. out Rough Rider, Hell yeah. niggas, niggas thought she was gay. <laughs> hell yeah, for sure. Right for or sure. wrong. No, nah, facts. Hell yeah. Nigga, every, every female rapper who owned is bad as fuck. And that's where I go back to what I said earlier when I said. A lot of these females that's rapping coming out of Detroit, they mm-hmm. just bad. Yeah, like nah. the music's not that great. Yeah, I'm not no fucking. Look at Missy. Up. Missy Elliott wouldn't yeah. if she came out today. Yeah, she she has, wouldn't go nowhere. Yeah, she had jumpsuit on that bitch dancing and shit, wearing garbage bags. Yeah. Damn, what the fuck is an ugly chick that was popping, dog? You're not gonna find one. Damn. And if you do, it was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think about as a as a recent the last ten years, dog. Even I was watching. Ele- uh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, 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 an interview with Kelly Price from his. Y'all remember Kelly yeah, Price? Yeah, Kelly Price. Yeah. And she was talking about I was writing all these hit records. They didn't yeah. want to put me in the forefront because yeah. I was a bigger, yeah, bigger woman. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. She wasn't no motherfucking uh, uh, Brandy. I mean, yeah, Brandy. She had, she was okay, but Beyonce, none of them. Oh, uh, niggas wanted to hear Brandy. Hell yeah, nigga, I love Brandy. Yeah. You know you a bad bitch when people call you Brandy or Moesha. Hell yeah, but you got two identities, nigga. Now I'm about niggas. to be in the crib, nigga, just sitting there chilling. Thinking, but you Brandy and Hell Moesha. Yeah, like, oh. We love both of you. Duh. Damn, but that be true, bro. It be some, it be some chicks that can really rap, but they ain't got that appeal. The appeal. Damn. 
That's and that's the up, thing. You, you not seeing no ugly rappers yeah, on top. You think about Cardi, you think about Nicki. Bad, mad, bad, yeah. bad. mulatto, bad, yeah. sweetie, bad, Hell yeah. Ruby Thank Rose, you. bad. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. All these female rappers who are coming out these days are bad. Damn. Queen Lorraine, yeah. she little as hell, but the bitch prettier than a motherfucker. For sure. Damn. And killing TikTok. That shit crazy. There is not no, even no ugly R and B singer. I say the ugliest female doing her thing right now is probably like Amaretta. Yeah. yeah. And she still ain't even on that level, and probably won't reach that level. Yeah. Damn. That's crazy as hell, dog. Hey, if y'all listen, man, give me a bad a, a chick that look bad that's <laughs> doing her thing, dog. Tell y'all, you ain't gonna find it. You you not gonna find it. Damn. Like it's, it might be females that's not that good looking. What's the girl and from DJ Chicago? I mean, Katie got bands. Y'all remember her? No, hell no. Y'all I remember, remember her? Uh, Drizzy from Chicago? Drizzy. Oh, but uh, Drizzy that's why, bad. Was, that's why I was saying and get and blow up dog because she was a, a butch looking chick and shit. The girl of all American. Um, the stud chick. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. And she can rap, nigga. She cold. Yeah. She can rap her ass off. Damn. That shit crazy, dog. Bro. And then you got these niggas don't be out here, nigga, ugly as fuck and blow up, nigga, like. <laughs> Just think about it, nigga, like, there's a lot of niggas out here, lyrical, nigga, like. Who, you gotta have that appeal. You gotta have no, that you image. You gotta, you gotta be on sale. Yeah. You gotta be able to sell yourself, bro. At the end of the day, if you can't sell yourself, the label probably ain't paying no attention to your ass because you got, not only can you sell records or rap, but you gotta be, uh, you gotta look. Yep. You gotta fucking look, dog. But well, shit, man, we get to the end, man. We got this shit called Versus, dog. I'll give you something. You tell me who'll come out as the winner, dog. Okay. Your mama cooking versus your grandma cooking. Grandma. All right. Summertime gear versus wintertime gear. Winter. All right. Back shots versus riding. Whew, I'm lazy. <laughs> Hell yeah, me too. Shit, I'm going to get on top of this motherfucker. <laughs> DM game versus in-person game. Whew. Ooh, that's... Now, that one tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The DM... I say in-person because... Everybody sliding in DMs. For sure. So I feel like you out and you yeah. run into that chick on Instagram and yeah, you can yeah. talk to her for a second, let her feel for your sure. vibe. Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. win. White liquor versus dark liquor. I know. Tequila. <laughs> Hell, Thanksgiving versus Christmas. Hmm. Thanksgiving because I'm older now. I'm spending the money for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nightlife versus daytime life. Nightlife. For sure. I already know, nigga. That nigga be wild boy and shit, dog. Motherfucker, uh, Martin versus Fresh Prince. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Damn. Hmm. Damn. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna go just because I probably watched it more. Yeah. I'm gonna go Fresh Prince, yeah. but that new Bel Air hard, y'all watch that? Yo, that shit hard. Yeah, I've been trying to see it. Hell yeah, I fuck with that shit. Y'all watch the last episode? Yep. Yeah, yeah, he didn't Wayans. watch it at all. Yeah. Wait, wait. Oh, you ain't watched it? I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> well, yeah, Marlon, watch that shit today. Hell yeah, hell yeah, dog. Wayne Brothers versus Jamie Foxx, yo. Jamie Foxx for sure. Damn. Jamie Foxx. Wayne Brothers, my shit, bro. Hey, what's crazy is I was watching a commercial on TV and Uncle Junior was on the commercial. <laughs> I'm like, damn, why you see that? Hey, hold on, let me tell you something that's gonna trip you out. So, Jamie Foxx show, right? Yeah. Jamie Foxx's name was Jamie King, right? Right. So, Junior King was the uh, uncle. The uncle, yeah. He was related to the auntie. How the, right. How the fuck is his name King? Damn. <laughs> That's not his dad. That's, she got the name King because she married him. Married him. But his name King, so I never understood that shit. You might be honest. His, his sister, <laughs> his, his mama is sisters with, with, with his aunt. So he should have a different last name than King. <laughs> you might be on the show. <laughs> that was crazy as hell when I, when I thought about it. She's like, how the fuck this nigga named Jamie King? He not related to Jordan King. Maybe he adopted him. Maybe in the early, but but shit, he came to live with them niggas because he, he needed a job from Texas and shit. <laughs> oh, hey, man, I was watching this video on YouTube. I'll be at the studio sometime. we just be sitting up there watching shit. And Jamie Foxx is really talented, bro. No, for sure. Like for sure. we was watching him do a stand up like little comedy thing, yep. and he just bust out and pulled a, uh, he got on the piano and started singing doing Duh. his shit. Nigga did comedy, and I was just like, bro, movies, this nigga really do everything. TV shows. Oh, Think about the hits he gave with slow yeah. downs, unpredictable. Sh- nigga. blame it on the alcohol. Hell yeah, nigga. Duh. Y'all remember them bitches that used to go in the club? Hell yeah, nigga. Shit, that shit come when, on, nigga. This is when I was just old enough to start going duh. to the club. Once a Jane Foxx song come on the club, then you gotta grab a chick because she gonna be grinding all on you and shit. Yeah. 
Jamie Foxx was Blame that nigga. Uh, uh, this nigga uh, did. Uh, alcohol, this nigga did booty crazy. call. This nigga did Ray Charles. This nigga did comedy. This nigga sing. Nigga piano. Nigga sketch comedy. They think they he did it all, bro. It's, it's hard to find another nigga like that. He's a unicorn. That. Yeah, that's like, what you call a unicorn. Yeah, and a nigga a great impersonator, nigga of niggas, dog. Like, bro, that nigga is a. Is I a remember Tommy thriller. Davidson was talking about how uh, Jamie Foxx used to bully him. Duh. Did y'all see that? Uh, he said Jamie Foxx was a, like he said Jamie Foxx an oh, asshole. Duh. I remember they got to a fight with LL Cool J when they, he was talking about that shit. How that nigga knocked that nigga out and he give a Sunday. I, I was about to say, I was about to say, didn't they fight? Yeah, for real. Movie? Yeah, <laughs> yeah in real life, nigga. They fought in real life too. Yeah, on, on set, yeah. He's, he he made a whole skit about that shit. He said nigga that nigga kept licking his lips like this nigga really in character and shit. He said knock that nigga out when they was fighting and shit, dog. Who knocked who out? Uh, uh, LL Cool J knocked Jamie Foxx out. I believe it. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dog. All right, nigga. Soul food versus seafood. I'm going to go seafood, probably. Creamy macaroni versus that stiff macaroni. It's stiff. Stiff. Hell yeah. I hate that creamy shit, bro. Yeah. I hate that shit, dog. Uh, 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 um, old school rap versus now. Now. Nah. All right. Vezo versus Peasy. Vez. All right, dog. You you got any other? You got any new drunk moments, bro? For, to end it off, or uh, drunk uh, moment, hot moment, dog? Any funny story when you was fucked up? Uh, that you can tell. <laughs> uh, shit. I don't even remember shit. I be so drunk. <laughs> I'm just be real. Uh, if you got the new story, it's good. One worth telling. Yeah, one worth it. If it ain't worth it, then fuck it. We can just go ahead. <laughs> hmm. Niggas say we so drunk that he don't even be having stuff. Yeah, I mean it's always drunk moments in the life of the frost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think I got one on the it's top of my good. head. It's all good, bro. So shit, man. I appreciate you coming into this motherfucker. I appreciate y'all having me again. Always, dog. Always, man. Where uh, we see motherfuckers sugar good goodnight hand for the first time in the camera and shit. <laughs> Trying to stay behind the scenes and shit. <laughs> Daddy been whipped though. Nigga low key as hell, dog. What? Where can you find the music, bro? Where can you find you? I'm a music, social? Spotify, Amazon, all that shit. Yeah. Polo Frost, I just dropped three P. It's been out a couple days now. For sure, for sure. Um, Make sure y'all get that. Shout thing. out to everybody streaming, everybody listening. Much love to y'all. Mm -hmm. And yeah, man, I but, still got the vaccine out there. That's still oh, hitting yeah, the back. Definitely listen to that shit, y'all. Ain't even listen to it. And we 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 still moving. We still working. A lot of big things in the works. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, man. But where can you find your socials? Um, uh, Polo Frost on Instagram. Follow Frost, so I don't fuck with Twitter. Yeah, I don't even know how I work that shit too much. I mean, I'm not working, but... I had a Twitter page, and I deleted it, because I was like, if I blow up, yeah. they gonna go back and see all <laughs> my <laughs> old tweets, and ain't Hell nobody yeah. in the industry gonna like me. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for I, You sure. know, I speak my mind. Hell yeah, no, that's the fact that nigga do it. That's why I thank God 24 hours on that motherfucker social on, on Instagram, dog. Yeah, for on sure. This, <laughs> on the story. Now, uh, you, about, you going on, on any more tours as far as the podcast run, dog? Oh, yeah, um, I'm actually doing Kid L tomorrow. Okay. I got another podcast to do Wednesday. Yeah. Um, I got a, I I got a bunch of podcasts. Wait, hey man, he he come. This was the show. first stop though. Yeah, and, and so the, this is the first the stop one. since I dropped the the, the, the project, <laughs> of course. Yeah, and yeah. I and I reached out to y'all. You For know sure. what I'm saying? Y'all ain't hit me up like, hey bro, you want to come back? I reached out to y'all yeah, yeah. like, hey bro, can I come back? And you already know, yeah, yeah. You know nigga, what I'm it's certain niggas that I I will focus on the repeat run. Yeah, and certain niggas who been hitting me up for the longest who delete me like, damn man, you had old girl come up that bitch twice. Nigga delete me like, damn. Then some people be like. Like nigga, you was lying. Yeah, you like, ain't or nigga, you ain't got no music. Yeah, you your not conversation doing shit. Was, what is we about to talk about? You yeah, want... your conversation was still like nigga. Oh, you went to work today, cuz? <laughs> how the midnight shift going? <laughs> like, exactly. They still still your motherfucking lunch in the bed. <laughs> niggas just be, you know, niggas don't be doing shit. Niggas be lazy. Hey, don't be yo, shit going on. This one of a few niggas, bro, on real on some real shit that actually talk about his real life. And not just what he do as far as a rapper. Yeah, tell niggas I like he... actually prefer to talk about my real life more than the music. Yeah, hell the yeah. The music kind of speaks for itself, I believe. For sure. Uh, I just be wanting the people to understand who I am. Bro, you a hard worker, dog? Say you a silly nigga, dog? Huh? <laughs> you a hard worker at work, dog? Uh, you a silly nigga, though. Like, <laughs> well, I be at work. Like so I drive trucks and shit. So I just be by myself all day. So, sure. uh, I mean, so what you go consider hard work? <laughs> <laughs> so when you go in that bitch, you type of nigga like they load the shit on the truck. Yeah, and shit, they load ahead. my. I literally just sit. I take naps all day. Duh, hell uh, no. I, they load my truck up. I do the deliveries. I, I drive a flatbed, so I do multiple runs a day. For sure. So I might drop some shit off, go back, get some more shit loaded, yeah, da -da -da -da, a couple more stops, whatever. But yeah, uh, yeah I be at work. 
work just uh you know doing uh speaking my mind and doing instagram <laughs> videos and shit hell yeah hey man they got easy job like well i ain't gonna say it's easy because i'm driving that bitch nigga. it's kind of easy Okay, what's well, shit? Uh, <laughs> I, say, I ain't gonna lie, like my shit be easy for I always tell this nigga, I'll be in that bitch. I would never work another job. Like Duh. that's the job I'm gonna have until I'm rich. Duh. When I'm rich once and you, I'm a millionaire. But you get in them fucking positions, you be like, nigga, I got to the job, nigga, what I do at the hospital, I'm like, dog, this is the easiest shit in the world. Yeah. I'm getting paid what? To do what? Nigga, these niggas be I'll be nigga, out of eight hours I work three. The other five, nigga, Boom. I'm watching movies. The only thing about my job is I'm driving all day. I get tired of driving sometimes, yeah. but it still be like, I ain't got nobody breathing on my shoulder. For sure. I be going to the mall while I'm at work, eating good, <laughs> go fucking uh, itch bomb, Benny Hunter and shit while I'm at work so on the clock. So when you drop the shit off, they, just, they, they get the shit off the truck. You ain't no, got sometimes I got to get it off myself, but okay. I got, it got, my truck got a dump, too. Yeah. It's a dump truck, so I can just <laughs> yeah. dump the shit off if I need to, but it don't really be no real, like, I'm gonna tell you, Dodo, it used to be hard. Yeah. Complaining works. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I, I used to complain, like, hey, bro, I don't need this fucking job. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, used to go in there talking big shit to them. They all know I rap and shit. Yeah. They know, they be seeing me on the ground up and all them bands. I got my money in my bosses. <laughs> and what y'all niggas wanna do? Fire me. What's the last bullshit job you had that you hated? <laughs> I used to work at the I I worked at this recycling company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all the on, fucking on uh, no. Okay, it, say it was in uh, Wixom. Okay. <laughs> okay, it was in Wixom. All the fucking pop bottles and cans <laughs> came to us, and we had to sort through them and make sure the glasses with the glass, the yeah. bottles with the bottles, the cans with the cans. So, I just go and smell like garbage every day. Duh. Man, one day I was in that bitch. I cussed my boss out so bad. I was like, "Yep, today today." How long you worked that bitch? I I. I, probably like three months. I lasted a little second. Yeah. I definitely, I think I hit that 90 day mark. Damn. Cause I ain't no just quitter, but yeah. that shit was horrible. I used to go and smell like garbage every day. We literally had to sort through like, it was a conveyor belt going. It might be all cans. We had to pull all the plastic out. And yeah. if there's any glass that was slipping there, people taking their bottles of cans back to the store. That, yeah. that shit came to us. That shit was Damn. horrible. Nigga, my worst, my worst job, nigga, was, it was two of them, nigga. That's one day I woke up, nigga, down there crowd, nigga. I'm like, <laughs> I work at, at Fox 2, nigga, work about four hours a day. They get about 400 every two weeks, nigga. Damn. <laughs> like an intern. <laughs> nigga was an intern. <laughs> dog. I mean, I see Hugh Perkins, dog. I mean, I've been sad as fuck, dog. Stressing. Dog. That's probably why I'm bored. Hugh coming in with his motherfucking suit on. Hell yeah, look at Living his best life. I mean, he done made your paycheck in a day. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, a minute, nigga. That nigga made up in a half hour, nigga. That nigga say good morning, nigga. Pay, nigga. And then I work at a motherfucking Bell Tire, nigga. Same time, around the same time, dog. That was like, nigga. I call this nigga, dog. I was stressed, bro. Like, My cousin's working. But what's the Bell Tire like? That should be busy. Man, what? Hell yeah. I'm, I'm The one I was working at was on uh, Orchard Lake Road, dog, West Bloomfield. So you got okay. all these white motherfuckers every yeah. fucking day. They, if it, you know, once it get, if it be real hot, and then get, you get cold weather, your tire temperature drop. So niggas all mad think that they got flat tire and shit. So they come here, bitch, you got motherfucker get tired, examine that bitch, dunk her in the water to see if the motherfucking shit gonna fit. Be all waste of time. Bro, like, ain't shit going, ain't shit wrong with it, dog. Then you got motherfuckers, if you by yourself, because niggas quit that bitch left and right. So it's just me and you. A four pack come, that means that you gotta install four new tires, bro. So you gotta take them bitches off, clean the hubs, take the motherfucking tire off, put the new tire on, balance the tire, put it back on, drill it back on. Nigga, it was too much, dog, for the pay. Yeah, I ain't fucking with that shit. Bro, for the pay. When I tell you I'm getting like twelve fifty an hour, nigga. They gotta hard. pay more now. Working hard, nigga. Today they probably pay more. That's the hardest job I had in my life. I was Yeah, them niggas be them niggas be working. I'm in that bitch cuss my my wife out like fuck. I ain't you. never been to Bell Tire, discount tire, nothing like that, and seen niggas chilling. Duh. Like niggas they be working work. nonstop. They and work. this car is constantly coming in. And you got rich motherfuckers who actually store their tires, bro. Like, you put your winter tires on, bam, you come back in the summertime, get your summer tires on. Oh, right. no. Nah. Nigga. Well, we do tires all year round. All right, man. So, I, I, I'm going to make an announcement for the first time on y'all podcast. Do that shit, man. I'm coming out, man. I'm going ball too, bro. My shit can look light right hey, here. I would die for that shit right now. Bro. <laughs> bro. My shit can look light right here. So, you know. I, my man's did like a, a little like video of me in the studio, yeah. and I didn't want to post it because like my head was down like this, and my shit just looked so. I was like, damn. That's how I knew I was going ball, nigga. That light came on. I was doing his show. I'm like, my shit stringy as fuck. It was a wrap, bro, bro. It's it's I'm, I'm I'm my days is coming. Hey, man. So yeah, on the show vs. Everybody podcast, I'm saying it first. I'm going ball, y'all. So if y'all see me and I ain't got no hat on and it look a little light up here. <laughs> 
Just excuse me and come with age and stress and kids. No, for sure. Hell yeah, man. Hey, man, you blessed, though, man. I would die for that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> At least you get some waves, nigga, a little bit on the side around that shit, nigga. I'm a, but see, I, I'm a George Jefferson, my shit. I ain't letting go till it's just time, nigga. That needs like, to be Uncle Phil, this bitch, Yeah. <laughs> nigga, when it's time, it just be like, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to struggle. Man, don't even worry about no. it. You know, it'd it be different when you get out the barber chair, you don't even feel good. I like usually you got a bar share, nigga. You, you get, you feel like you get every bitch in the world, nigga. You get that bitch, it look disgusting, like. This nigga crazy. I ain't paying this nigga twenty for this shit, dog. Then my, my son got dreads. My other son got afro. And this bitch got the motherfucker tapered with. I'm like, I mean that bitch get a cut, nigga, looking bad, like. You look at him every day. I get the but get out of the barber chair. Don't even feel good. <laughs> you put your hat right back on, like man, fuck this dog. You just get a haircut for the yeah, side. That's funny as hell. Yeah, but they be Beijing, Beijing and me when I get my freshness. See, I got a haircut yesterday. Yeah. So what I do is, you know, you supposed to wash your hair after you get your haircut. Yeah, you I don't do that. <laughs> I gotta wait till the next day or a couple of days. You gotta let that shit be fresh. So right now, it might not look as light as it's supposed to look. <laughs> I might still got a little black spray in there a little bit. You know what I'm saying? A little fibers and shit. You know what I'm saying? But uh, shout nigga, out to my barber though. Man, he, when I walk about that chair, you feel good. Tuh, you feel good. Tuh. I always do a little Instagram video. Hell yeah, I mean, the hey, hoes. Every time I see it, nigga, hey, that, I be mad as hell to it at the crib. Catfish like the hoes, like yeah, bitch. Hell yeah. Do a then they see me in person and be like, your hair ain't look like that. <laughs> hey man, at least you got a beard, man. Your line, yeah, the beard. Yeah, this, say, so, this would say was some niggas can't get that bitch. Like, yeah, oh, I know. I got a little patch right here, but it's cool. I comb a wet bitch like a white nigga on his head. Yeah. <laughs> no, you put put a little blue magic right there. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do that shit. Try that shit too a little bit. But shit, man, hey, man, I appreciate you coming to this motherfucker, dog. Appreciate you having me, bro. Always funny when you come to this bitch, dog. Yeah, man. My nigga Polo Frost, so, man. So, probably like episode uh, 250, I'll be back again. I <laughs> bet, bet, we be talking shit. You know what I'm saying? So, we just try to do this maybe once a year or something. You know, so, I'm cool with that. Y'all cool with that. Hey, hold on. That. We got to do it. What's that, though? I'm really going to make that shit pop off, dog, the co-host shit. Bro, I'm but telling you. You got to recommit this bitch and call up, bro. You, you got to recommit. But you know the stipulations of what we talked about. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. It has to be that situation. Yeah, I got you. I'm not coming in here to cause Jerome. <laughs> Jerome the, the rapper, rapper, okay? <laughs> we need Jerrica with the booty. <laughs> but, but, but you got to come with some real questions, though. That's the only thing. I'm gonna have the juicy question. I'm not, see, you gotta do the research to ask about the music and shit. And you're gonna be doing other shit. I'm asking about the other shit. All right, bet, bet, bet. You know what what I'm we, gonna, we gonna make that shit happen, dog. Like, what color panties you got on right now? It's gonna be a. <laughs> Tell us all. It's gonna be a special episode, like 125. Like, I ain't got nothing. I'm like. <laughs> Migos? We gonna make sure we have some. Hey, it's gonna be Casamigos on deck, too, dog. we gonna make that shit happen, dog. Oh, yeah. Oh, we coming here with the fifth. Bad, 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 bad dog. We coming here with the. See, I just had a little bit left from last night. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, man, until next time, man, my nigga Polo Frost, man. Shavers, everybody. Voice of Detroit Podcast MVP, man. And go get that three peak right For now, sure. streaming on all platforms. Episode 114. Hey, uh. Y'all need to give me a sponsorship, 114, though. play that on the three, the three digit. Hell yeah, dog. 114, that's the lucky episode. What's this shit called? Arizona. That'd be crazy if that shit dropped. What if 114 dropped on the three digit tomorrow or something? Shit, I don't got to play that shit, dog. Damn, not, I'm That'd mad. be crazy, right? I got about the dollar in my ass trading. If nigga. you don't play it, it's going to hit. Hell yeah. But if you play it, it might still hit. But if you don't play it, it's <laughs> yeah. going to hit for, for sure. sure. And my grandma <laughs> told me when you get a number like that, you got to play it for three days. That's for real, thing. yeah. At that, see, know. I'm more of a Mega Millions Powerball nigga. Me too. I'm trying I don't to get really quick with the three, four digit like that. Yeah, I'm trying to get rich quick, dog, so I can quit my job. The three digits, you only gonna get like five hundred dollars yeah. unless you play the same number a bunch of times. Yeah, yeah nigga. Let me get thirty five. <laughs> Nigga, Let me get 35 <laughs> one, 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 one. <laughs> Hell no You just won 100k <laughs> Hell yeah Still got work Damn I got work still <laughs> Still gotta go to work Hell yeah Get you a car Do y'all tax this shit? Hell yeah So 100k You probably wind up getting 600 Maybe another 60k No I ain't That can't be that much tax Shit We live in the <laughs> fucked up world bro <laughs> Hell yeah That's why I do all my rap transactions Cash <laughs> yeah, sure. I don't make no money as a rapper Hell yeah I'm struggling Ain't no proof in the pudding nigga. Exactly Hey man Holla at y'all boys man We out Take care That's right <laughs>